I am hyped for this week's recipe for disaster. We are making donuts from scratch. Cream donuts, jelly donuts, powder donuts. Donuts. For the last 20 years, all I've done is run a record label and sit in music studios and never stepped in the kitchen. But since the pandemic, I've been learning to cook a little bit. On Recipe for Disaster, I have 24 hours to learn a dish. The following day, I step in the kitchen without the recipe in front of me and try to remember it from scratch. Oh, this is hard. There's a lot of rules and regulations in this one. Heat the evaporated milk to 115 degrees. If the milk's evaporated, then you, what are you heating? What are we talking about here? <laughs> There's no way I'm remembering all this. Cancel this episode for a sec, time out. Ladies and gentlemen, today we are making donuts. Before we get into anything else, dough takes two hours to get right. So we're gonna start with the dough, then I'm gonna move on to the creme and the fucking jelly. You're gonna wanna start with... See, this is the problem with this whole recipe. It's a lot of different steps. Your yeast, your evaporated milk, which I had never heard of till yesterday. Mm. Hmm. I'm already forgetting how this starts. Bear with me. Who knew donuts were so hard to make? The dough, I think I'll be able to get. Sugar, granulated milk, and the yeast is first. Granulated milk? I also might be not doing this right or something. Is that how you're supposed to do it? Uh, nope. Think about it. Three fourths of a cup. Wait, is it three fourths of a cup? One third of a cup of sugar. Almost caught myself slipping. Ooh, get all that sugar in that bad boy. Yikes. Looks unhealthy, doesn't it? So now that you have it at 115 degrees, I am guessing you put the yeast in while it's on the stove. I genuinely do not know. Is you're looking for your yeast to rise up a little bit and get all bubbly. Shit don't look like it's bubbling up at all. I messed up the evaporated milk and the yeast and the sugar. So I now have to do it over. Now what I'm gonna do is just heat the evaporated milk to 115 degrees. Once I get that right, I'm gonna take it out, pour it in a bowl, and then I'm gonna put the yeast and the sugar in it. We're gonna let it bubble up. Oh yeah, now it's starting to bubble up. Almost looks like oatmeal. You want three egg yolks and one regular egg. Three egg yolks. Okay. These are my sous chefs. This is chef, and this is sous chef. Little sous. I'm gonna wash my hands because my filthy boars are disgusting. Okay, and we're ready to go. Now we're just gonna get in here. We're gonna mix a whole bunch of dough together. May not have been the right tool, bud. May not have been the right tool. Grab me like a, a, a Something that doesn't have a twist. Shit. There's some butter. Gotta just keep pushing and kneading. So right now you're just looking for it to be nice and elasticy, where you can hit it like that and it comes back up. Doesn't look like it's doing that yet. Okay. Now, here's what we're gonna do. You're gonna go get some saran wrap. Could have helped you with that. I don't want your help. Yeah, you do. No, Come on. I don't. We can win together. I don't want to win with you. <laughs> yes, you do. No, I don't. <laughs> we're going to leave that for an hour. All right, so what we're going to start doing now is working on the cream. This is my most feared part of this recipe. We are going to start with half a cup of granulated sugar. You're going to need five egg yolks. Saved that bad boy, didn't I? Two and one fourth cup milk. Transparently speaking, I have no clue what I'm doing and I hope I'm doing this right, so. Make sure it's airtight. Better? Sure. 
I thought fucking saran wrap is supposed to stick. Now I'm doing it a different way. Now, one thing I read is you do not want to allow that to sit at all. So try not to break the cream as you're making it. You know, the cream breaks when it gets too soggy. Now it's getting nice and thick. That's exactly what you want right there. Just put your butter on in there. Two teaspoons of vanilla extract. That's a nice creamy texture, you see that? We're gonna take this beautiful creme brulee that we have finessed and we are gonna let it sit and cool. Zong! Donuts! Okay, put it all the way till it's touching the cream. That's what you wanna do. Donuts are on the way. Good donuts are on the way. The jam is literally just, it's sugar, it's fruit. Um, well, I have all the ingredients in front of me, so the only thing left is a lemon, sugar, fruit, lemon, right? You so put you put the one you took the bit, uh, bite out of? Yeah. In there? Okay. Because I have no clue what I'm doing on this side of things. I'm just going to pretend like I do. Half a cup of sugar. Oh, that looks healthy. And a little bit of lemon juice. Two tablespoons worth. What do you think? You think I'm bugging? You think I'm doing a good job? Be honest. Me? Yeah. No, I think you're doing pretty well. Know when the jam is done, simply dribble some hot jam from the pot onto the frozen spoon and wait a few seconds for it to cool. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, you see that? It's a nice thick substance. See, what you're looking for on the frozen spoon is that when you put this in the fridge, is it gonna freeze up and lock up the right way? I know the answer is yes. Okay, we're good. Oh, and look at this nice, look at this nice dough that's gotten big. Look at that, it turned into, turned into hollow bread. I still don't have a dough roller. So, we are going to do it this way at first, and then I'm gonna roll it out a little more, but this thickness should be good, honestly. I don't have a proper uh, cookie cutter, so I found a mug or a cup. Either one can work. Donut three, done. Boom. Then you're gonna put saran wrap over these again for another 30 minutes. Now this only goes up to 220, so I don't actually know how hot this is. This is a major boo-boo. I know it has to be 350 degrees. So I'm gonna use one of my leftover donuts to see how this does, and I'll know if this is right or not. Now what we can do in the meantime is get our powders together. Where did the cinnamon go from today? Yeah, grab that, thank you. Right now I'm prepping the topping station because when a donut comes out hot, you want to put the topping on first. You want to put your cinnamon sugar, your powdered sugar on first, then let it cool down, and then you put your jelly and cream to them. I'm impressed. <laughs> From how you were this morning to this? I was mad this morning. I was in a bad mood. Wow, but you, you, you focused. Not mad at it. We're going to try again. Wow, look at these donuts, and look at how big they're getting. That's what you really want. Cook these for three minutes till 46. He's doing math and cooking? Holy shit. Never thought you'd see the day. Huh? Mm, definitely not. They smell great too. Yo, we're at the finish line, bro. No distractions. I know what one text message could do to your life. What'd I say? I'm waiting. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Oh, wow. We have a perfect donut, ladies and gentlemen. 
Yo, Combs, you got to feel good about this episode. We started off nervous. Yeah. We didn't know if it was going to be good or not. Look at the greatness we've created. You have your cream. This is where shit gets really real. Stuff around, you, you push it this way, up, down, around. Okay. It's going everywhere but inside. It's going everywhere but inside the donut. This is... No, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> My words of wisdom tomorrow are, do not let myself get rattled. All right, let's try this again. Bro, why didn't you tell me the bag was open? Yo, you're really trying to play me right now. Another donut is ruined! Bro! I can't do it, honestly, I can't. I, I, I'm trying a different way, I don't want to do it in the bag. I'm so upset. I had this going so smooth. This is a mess. I just don't understand how I can't get this bag to work. Like, what is it supposed to be? A very tiny cut in the bag? Now we're in business. Oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. So now what you have to do, which I didn't understand at first, is get the thing the size of a pencil so you can actually stick it in there. Just the tip, if you know what I mean. Moving on to the jelly donuts. There we go. Three hours later, the powdered jelly donut and the cinnamon sugar cream donut is finished. This is a disaster that somehow turned into a beautiful recipe. I'm really excited to try these too. Just cause I've been eating great donuts all summer at Grindstone. So I'm gonna know, and I'm gonna be honest if they're not great. I'm gonna start with the powdered cinnamon sugar cream donut. Wow. This is nice and doughy. The cream isn't too sweet. I hate super sweet things in general. Now let's get into the big boy games, okay? What we came for is this. That. Oh yeah. This is great, but there's not enough jelly in it. But I didn't throw my jelly away yet. Very good for a home cooked donut the first time ever. That's what I'll say. It's a good bite. I'm, I'm honestly impressed just to see it at this point. But, you know, with this much space inside the donut, I would like to see some more cream or something. I you know, feel I that. I feel a little bit let down on that one. What's your rating, buddy? I'm gonna go right in at a six. It was a rough day in the kitchen at first. Didn't feel I was gonna get it, but somehow, through the grace of wanting a good donut, we made it happen.